Hey Cap, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The message could be for you, so feel free to take it. However it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you want to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you will always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. You can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I just post more stuff on quantum physics and crazy stuff that I do over there. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in here. Do you want to hear something funny? So... For those of you that remember, oh, interesting. Um, I was like burning a candle <laughs> in one of my videos, like maybe a few weeks back. And I was like tripping out about the flame, catching the card. Well, it didn't catch the card. It blackened my whole side. You can't really see it, but it, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't notice that. But I did today. I was like, oh, no wonder I was worried about that. That's so funny. So yeah, if you guys see the corner there, that's why it's looking like that. So let's dive in here. Okay, enough, enough of that. So, ah, yes, perfect. Cap. So what should we start with? The chariot popped out first. Could be something here going on with car or travels or you might be doing something very quickly. Oh, it might be action coming up very soon. So some of you guys, um, I don't know. Something feels like it's like you might feel really confident about a direction. Like previously, I think you'd been um, really questioning things like ah, really unsure, maybe because for a while you felt like you were kind of on a string of maybe some bad luck or like things just weren't going your way. I'm actually seeing that turn around. So over this next week, you might be just feeling like all of a sudden something shifts or changes and you are very confidently moving towards something, whatever that looks like. So that's why I was saying like, this is a very confident, like, yep, this is exactly where I need to go. This is exactly what I need to do. Very powerful inner strength, energy, tenacity, a lot of intellect, like you're just handling things very intelligently, but you have a direction now, like, and there's success coming from just you not really allowing yourself to get in some kind of back and forth energy. You're just moving toward it. So beautiful. This is amazing. And it almost even could be vice versa. It's like something here about, I'm hearing specifically your dopamine. Like you could be doing certain things to kind of with self-discipline. <laughs> this is such a Capricorn kind of energy because you might be kind of playing around with self-discipline to shift things at the quantum level. And I do get that that is changing things for you because we have also, that, oh, there's a couple different energies coming in. Okay, so I love these cards so much. I'm excited about them so, so much. So we have um, the Aspirant, which is a lot of ambition. <laughs> okay, so this is hilarious. Setting and reaching goals. And it's like any difficulties that come in, you know you can handle them. You are the goat. So very bold and capable. This is literally what that is. It's like you're craving greatness or you really want to like go towards your goals. So it's like, um, Just as it's all about like the aspirant is about assessing things so you don't stumble when you move forward. Also though, the summoner, the summoner is like very good, a person who's very emotionally intellectual. So I, that also could be someone here that you are possibly dealing with. I don't know if you've got possibly a fire sign around you that 
Might be like very mature, emotionally intelligent, knows how to handle situations and knows how to soothe things. So that could be coming in. I don't know if like I've, you might be interacting with this person possibly, or there could be a person that's like just very mature about handling a situation. Okay, here's the chariot. But I'm seeing that you're going toward a goal. Like you're going towards some type of aspiration here. Something you've been waiting on for a while. And it could be because you were kind of waiting for some goals to line up. Or you were just like trying to get things in order. Or waiting for the wheel to turn. Do you know what I mean? Waiting for things to go back in your favor again. Because the four of wands. Okay. Page of Wands. I'm kind of hearing it's your turn now. Like, it's your turn for things to, like, to go better or for, you know, things that you've been aspiring for. It's kind of time for those to come in. Ace of Wands. Lots of Wands. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting here that you might hear some news. Is it, Someone might be curious what you're up to, Cap. Totally, of course this is. You're kind of staying hush-hush though. I think because you feel like there's an intention behind this communication. <laughs> okay, this is so funny. Because I'm getting here. What should we say? I want to put this page of swords at the top. I almost want to do it like that. There's incoming kind of communication. Okay. Um, this is like a testing the waters. So the communication is kind of like a, hey, how are you? <laughs> you know, or like kind of light, but intuitively you're picking up on a deeper meaning of it. And I wonder if it's because you feel like um, there's something behind this that, that you might feel like there's a controlling aspect behind this communication. All right, this is very interesting because I'm getting here. You want to be free from this. There's this fight. Look how fascinating this is. You're trying to get independent of this energy. Whatever that is. Whoever this is. This could be a family member. This could be a, a partnership. This could be business entity. Whoever this is. You want to be independent from this. It's like yes. Because you feel like it keeps your light dimmed. Like this person... This is like my gaslighting card. So this is a person that might like kind of deny your reality or downplay your emotions or your emotional experiences. And it puts them in a place of power. So there's an energy here that I'm picking up on that might be doing that. And you're kind of sensing, like you're picking up on that. You're picking up on what they're putting down. Cause there's an energy here. So here's this page of pentacles. I'm kind of getting that like for you to for you to become independent you'll probably um be back in a novice energy which might be a bit uncomfortable you know like your ego might take a little bit of a blow because it might be that you're venturing into something completely new but you know that it's going to get you to this what you're aspiring to you will be building a lot here whatever this is that you're building it's it, it's like at the beginning phases of this so you'll be learning a lot you will literally be like a freaking farmer planting seeds watching things interacting maybe you're even spending a lot of time in nature but i am getting do you know what you don't see? This is fascinating because this two of swords is kind of like what you don't see is that you won't have to like put on a mask anymore. You'll feel very happy in this environment or in this home, whatever this is. That's what's leading for you. But you might have been super focused on like this also even could be that you've been kind of gaslighting yourself a little bit, Cap, about this thing that you want to go towards. And maybe because like, yeah, you could have felt like if you're in this vulnerable state, you might get taken advantage of. That's always a possibility, especially when you're going toward the aspirant. You will fail many times. 
And, but it's like, you know how that typical saying, the amount of times that you get back up after you fall or you fail is what counts or matters. And the universe loves a stubborn heart, you know, like I came across that saying once, I wish I knew who the freaking like author was or the creator of that was, but I don't. So that's what I'm getting here. You're so stubborn like the goat, like you, you'll scale anything, you know, nothing can keep a good cap down, you know? So we have over here, let's see. Yeah, lots of just building, but I get that you're gonna enjoy every second of it. Like even what's kind of challenging, you will just be laughing and happy. Just like, look at her freaking face. You're gonna feel like this is the biggest gift that's been given to you, okay? So yeah, on this side of things, that's what you'll be doing. It's just like building, waiting for things to come in, but everything is kind of set up for you. I literally don't see anything as far as like, there might be little things over here and there, but literally what you don't see coming is that you'll be so happy and fulfilled in this environment. For a while, you had been telling yourself that one direction was was going to bring you happiness, but it wasn't it at all. And you might have gone down that route and figured out like, yeah, I don't really want that. Like, and it could have been this desired lifestyle that you thought you really wanted. But once you went down it, you were like, I'm not really happy here. And this other environment, it's not gonna seem all grandiose, but you're satisfied with that. It's not gonna seem like this magical thing where you can post it on Instagram and it looks like you're living a fairy tale lifestyle. It's not like that at all. It's, um, it's very practical <laughs> and it's like, but you are happy with it, okay? And that's why I'm saying in your mind, you have the Ace of Wands. The whole time you are gonna feel inspired, creative, like it's just gonna be, it, it, that's what is gonna spark you up. This whole inspiration thing, you're gonna be starting up so many creative ventures, it's crazy. Okay, yeah, save money. <laughs> I can see this. that is my Capricorn card. I love that card so much, especially when it comes out for Capricorn, because I'm like, yeah, like you, that is you to a T, <laughs> you know? Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Look at this. So it's playing out. Okay. So this situation where you've had to kind of like um, keep to yourself. If you've been in a while where you've had to be kind of cautious with finances. All right. I'm getting here. That's about to shift and change. But I'm seeing that you're protecting your financial assets. <laughs> Such a Capricorn. The, this is the Capricorn reading. Okay. So you are moving away from some type of chaos. So that's why I kind of understand like the the amount of pressure that you might also feel that you're under because you feel like you have to protect all of this because you are literally getting independent of something that has been manipulative, toxic, and restrictive. So it's almost like all this responsibility and weight is being put on you. And I, can, and I get it, like you feel the pressure of what you're carrying, but it's gonna be amazing. Seriously, over here on this side of things, I'm getting that there's like, a particular place that you know of whatever this this is like a relocation for some of you guys or it's like you're moving away from some type of chaotic energy could have brought tons of chaos you see how there is something here like the rays of the sun this is like my quantum physics bird migration energy when you're out pulling in photons from the sun you will literally get information that quantum tunnels through your brain and it will kind of give you the directions. They'll start popping up to you in super weird magical ways. I've seen that happen. And you might be going to a place that feels like home. Okay, Six of Cups, some of you guys might have visited this place, but this is showing me like an actual place where you feel at home, like you feel at peace in this location, whatever that means. <laughs> That's literally what's showing me. In that energy, in this temperance energy of you feeling peaceful and balanced, 
you will accomplish everything that you are aspiring to accomplish. But that's like the quantum physics, like that's the energy or frequency you need to be in to, to, to get in this creative inspirational mode. So that's why the universe might be, might have been shifting you and kind of changing things around quite a bit. It's because like it was trying to help you purge a bunch of energies maybe people or within yourself emotionally to get you out of that frequency so you're no longer a match so that you could actually move into this other environment where you can thrive like truly okay so i'll dive into the extended i'll see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link and i'll see you over there but cap if this is where we leave things i'm sending you so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading Take care.